So we're here today to talk about um, a small selection of some fascinating lots, all, all from the same archive coming up for our sale on the 25th of January, coming up very soon. Um, they're handwritten letters from prominent figures of the late 19th century and early 20th century. Um, in the main, written to Edward Tyus Cook, who, who was the uh, journalist and editor of some prominent um, late 19th century newspapers and magazines. So just the example we have here, you know, I've got four lots in front of me. We have examples from Thomas Hardy. There's three individual letters from Thomas Hardy on his headed paper and just writing general inquiries to Mr. Cook, asking about what is going to be published, what might not be published and what he thinks should be published. Moving on, we have the, uh, this one here is um, one of my favourites. It's a letter from William Morris. He is writing to Mr. Cook to complain about the use of an image that he doesn't think that Cook had permission to use in a newspaper. Um, it's a piece of upholstery produced by Byrne Jones, no less, for Morris and Co's piece of upholstery. And an image was used in the newspaper that he wasn't happy with because he thought he hadn't been given permission um, and he shouldn't have used it. So, you know, there's some choice language and he's writing quite strongly and complaining, um, essentially, but it's on Kelmscott House headed paper, signed by William Morris, quite a rare item. We also have, and it's perhaps my favorite lot, is uh, a letter from William Michael Rossetti, who's a key figure in the pre-Raphaelite Brotherhood, a very well-known group of artists in the 19th century. And he is writing to Mr. Cook, essentially help him identify figures that appear in a famous painting by Ford Maddox Brown called Jesus Washing Peter's Feet. And in that painting, there's lots of the apostles in the background, and it turns out that they actually represent some key figures from the pre-Raphaelite Brotherhood, so various artists. There's there's Gabriel Rossetti, uh, Holman Hunt is in there, um, and um, William Rossetti is in there as well. But it's fascinating insight because he's he's actually pointing out to Cook who is who in this painting, and it's, you know it's written about 50 years after the painting was produced, but it's a famous painting. Um, it's in the Tate Gallery. So fascinating insight and, you know, a real unique piece of history talking about this particular painting. Uh, the final group of letters, a bit of a different theme just in this preview. Um, they are by Edwin Lutchins, a uh, famous architect, and he appears to have been doing some, some personal work for Mr. Cook in terms of designing um, a property for him. Uh, so as well as text talking about, you know, what options and costs and things are involved. He's also done some little uh, sketches of floor plans and layouts um, in his own hand and again on his own headed paper and signed as well. So um, very rare items from a prominent and very famous figure. So all of these items, along with around about 46 other lots, I think there's 50 in total, coming up for sale on the 25th of January here at Dawson's. Uh, the lots are on preview currently, so you can have a look at our website and they're all on there with photographs. The full catalogue will be published around about a week before the auction. If you have any questions in the meantime, please feel free to get in touch.